Uh, do I have any outstanding events? I don't think I do. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. Missed that boat. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, well, let's go visit, um, what's his name? His name? Does it start with L? I don't remember your name, sir. I apologize profusely. Le Lieben? Is it Lieben? Um, he's usually over here. Doesn't mean he is right this second, but he usually is around this way. Oh, there he is. Lieben? 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 Hey, I do remember your name. Hello, friend. It's been a long time. Lieben, I trust you've been well. Life is full of triumphs and setbacks. I've grown used to it, you know. A small illness is nothing to write home about, and minor losses are just part of the game. So I suppose you could say I've been well enough. Ha! How about you, friend? Uh, not bad. It's marvellous to hear. I'm overjoyed today because I have run into you once again, my friend. Anything interesting happening lately? Don't you think I ought to head to Natlon and seek out new business opportunities? Seize the day and strike while the iron's hot. Yes, I fully believe you should do that, sir. Ha ha ha, I don't actually want to go to Natlon this time. A few days ago, I accidentally fell into a hole and spent the whole night staring at the stars. That definitely doesn't count as having been well lately. Why is there just a random ass hole in that one? Anyway, I was rescued by a passing adventure up and didn't even, hello, get hungry down there. All's well that ends well, am I right? Looking up at the stars at night, I couldn't help but wonder what lies beyond this world. Uh, endless distance and endless worlds. You think so too, friend? I was thinking how, what if every single star was actually a sun, and each of those suns had a planet orbiting it that we could visit? Wow, isn't he getting realistic? What if we could even visit every single star themselves? Ooh, why would you die? You'd fry it or crisp. Actually, you wouldn't even have a crisp left. After all, they'd just give a flight. Maybe they aren't even that hot. <laughs> About that. The nights there would be quite bright. You couldn't sleep with that much light. That's true. Then it would be enough just to go look. Though no one could live there like that, so I guess there wouldn't be any business opportunities. Back to the matter at hand. Our old deal is still on, right? No changes? Absolutely. I'm here for my box of marbles. What do you want for it? Ugh. Yeah, I suppose I can swing that. Fine. I'll do it today. Uh, that should, in theory, give me enough crumb gems for... A fate. Yung. Where are we at, by the way? Four days remaining. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make this. We're at like seventy. I want to say it. I guess. Sorry. <clears throat> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, five, fifty, fifty-five. Okay, no, we're not. We're up to fifty-nine. I thought we were way higher than that. Actually, sorry, fifty-eight. Damn. I thought we were much, much higher. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna miss out on the Shogun again. Yeah. Being too powerful. That seems the story of my life. Such a <clears> hassle. <throat> um, I'm gonna put Yumiya here, but I make no guarantees that I'm going to use this party because <laughs> <Let's go out laughs> <and play. clears throat> she gets absolutely decimated by Farina <laughs> and anybody so much as touching her. Um, so I might have to the people would adore me so much. Jean in. Sorry, I just wanted her to be silent. Uh, anyway, we have some things to do here. I kind of want to get rid of these two quests, not going to lie. Um, so, you know what? But damn well doing it. Which did I get first? I got the Aranara one first, I believe. Yes. Courage is in the heart. Defeat the Hillichels by the Aranara house. You found the journal by the Aranara named Arashaken, did I? When? Uh, in an Aranara house. Despite losing courage, Arashaken still decided to venture into such a dangerous place. Go check the situation out. Okay. Uh, seems to be quite close to a teleport waypoint, so sure. Where is he? This way. Oh, it's his house there. Okay, well these trees are a bit of an issue. Hold up. seconds to take care of them. Huh? These hill trails dropped something strange. Oh, I got pretty fireworks around me. It seems to be made out of flowers. Weird, but these flowers are ordinary and were picked quite some time ago, yet they still haven't wilted. They're magic flowers, Paimon. 
Pamuka sends quite a lot of Dendro energy on it, and it's been discarded here too. It must belong to Arunara. Must be from a Dendro Hill Hotel. Yeah, it must be. Hmm, this flower thing has so much Dendro energy that it didn't even wilter in the with us, sorry, in the hands of the Hill Hotels. Maybe they carried it with them all the time. Maybe it's something very precious. Yep, let's return it to the Zaranara as soon as possible. Let's go inside the house, Lanara. Maybe whoever lost it is super bummed out right now and is qu quaking in their boots at having the uh, Hill Hotels quite so close. Fluorescent talisman. Hello, is anybody here? Looks like no one's here. Do we need to uh, change the, the place we're in? Where's the, where, are we? where are these notes? Oh, they're on the table. They're not glinting, though. This is very zoomed in. The first few pages contain very small and scribbled writing. Uh, I can't believe there is a Nara willing to be Arashakan's friend. What a good Nara. The good Nara didn't mind timid Arashakan and even taught Arashakan how to write Nara words. Good Nara comforted Arashakan when Arashakan was frightened by a leaf that fell on his head. Good Nara is Arashakan's friend forever. The handwriting becomes tinier and more flustered in the following pages. Oh no, now our friend was taken by Fairy Mask Demon King. It has such a long arms, so scary, but must save Nara. Oh, the following pages are written in big, forceful handwriting. The Fairy Mask Demon King has been defeated. Saved Nara friend, and Nara friend gave Arashakan courage. Arashakan is not the same old Timon Arashakan anymore. Arashakan has courage now, and bravely fought the Fairy Masked Monsters. No Nara nearby will ever have to worry about getting bullied by the Fairy Masked Monsters again. The handwriting shrinks back down on the latest pages. Oh no, how did this happen? Arashakan's courage is missing. The courage Nari gave to Arashakan. It must have been stolen by the Fairy Mask Demon King. Fairy Mask Demon King. Arms very long, very scary. But Arashakan can do nothing after losing his courage. Arashakan will go looking for it in the Cave to the East. Why would you go looking for it in the Cave of the East? Did you go to the Cave of the East recently to have lost it there? Uh, so it was Arashakan the Arunari who wrote this. Writing in this journal is big at times and real tiny at others. The big letters are fine, but... Gotta say, the small ones hurt Paimon's eyes a little. A little Paimon's having trouble reading those small letters. Maybe she should go to the optometrist. Hey, Paimon reads letters in normal size just fine, thank you. Paimon's just not used to reading tiny letters, that's all. Hmm, did this Sarah Shark not return after writing these most recent pages? Let's check out that cave of the East. The journal said that his courage is missing. Can courage really go missing? Paimon's curious. East. Which way is east? East is this way. Might want to replace some of my fowl. Nice. Um, so is it not going to mark it on my map? No, I've just got to ambiguously find a cave in the east. What even is this? No. Oh shit. Not now. Time for a light show. Oh, I'm still trying to be attacked by a dendro slime. I don't think so, buddy. Oh, another dendro slime. What? Why are you going that way, bro? Oh, because it's still there. Why did they just multiply? What is the situation? My guiding stars. Don't be scared. Strike a pose. Fire hazard. <laughs> I think I got it. Hard to say. Is this the cave? Hello. Arshakan? Help me, help me. Please, can someone out there save Arshakan from a scary cave? Huh? Lenara, did you hear that? I feel like someone's calling for help. What's so scary about the cave? If anything, it's a really pretty cave. I don't really know how I'm supposed to get up to you, though. Let me just dispatch of the slime. Can you come down here, Arashakan? No? Okay, well, let's just dispatch of this first. Shower me with prey. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do? There you go. Arashakan. There you are! Are you Arashakan? Arashakan is indeed my name. Eek, don't come so close so quickly. Arashakan's very grateful for, to you two for saving me, but I must still request that you keep a certain distance, sob. That will make Arashakan feel a bit more comfortable. What? We just rescued you. I'm sorry. Sorry for my rude request. Sorry for angering you. But I've been trapped here and am still. I haven't settled down yet. 
Please forgive me. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, thank you, my Arisha. I can get your names. It's Paimon. That's the first time she's ever said it that way. It's always Paimon's name is Paimon. Just, it's Paimon? Why can't she be like that more frequently? I'm Linara. Golden Ara Linara and Paimon. So, how come you know Arashakan's name? We read the journal in the house. Golden Head Nara Linara read the journal and came looking for Arashakan. Then rescued, trapped Arashakan. Nara is so kind and so powerful. If Arashakan hadn't lost courage, Arashakan wouldn't have been so helpless. We read about that in the journal. What did you mean by missing courage, Arashakan? This is a story from long, long ago. Many moons ago, Arashakan was just like the Arashakan now, without courage. Back then, even the sound of a twig snapping would keep Arashakan up at night. Bro, you need a therapist to deal with your anxiety and paranoia. Man. But even timid Arashakan had a Nara friend for a companion. That Nara friend was no mighty Nara Varuna, Varuna, but it was still a very good Nara. He never teased timid Arashakan. When Arashakan felt scared, he would hold Arashakan's hand. He was a friend Arashakan would never forget. But one day, that Nara was taken by the furry mask demon king. You're not telling me anything I don't already know, buddy. <sighs> Wait. Is this furry mask demon king... What's this furry mask demon king you speak of? I'm assuming it's a big healer gel. What whatever the big dudes are called. Furry mask demon king is a furry demon king wearing a mask. Uh, yeah, sure. What is it? Is it a military? No, military are the big, big dudes. The medium dudes is what I'm talking about. Do you know what it is, Paimon? It's a very Aranara answer. Paimon has no clue what this fairy mask demon king could be, but the fairy mask demon king captured Arashakan's friend. The fairy mask demon king was very cunning. Just thinking about it makes Arashakan shudder. When Nara's friend was taken, Arashakan was afraid of getting beat up by the fairy mask demon king, but was even more terrified of never seeing Nara's friend again. So Arashakan tried very hard, closed eyes, gritted teeth, used hands and hit and hit and hit, then saved Nara friend. After that, Nara friend used flowers to make a talisman of courage and told Arashakan, Arashakan is a good Aranara with courage, not a timid Aranara. So from then on, Arashakan had courage. I hate to break it to you, Arashakan, but it was just a symbol of your courage. The courage was within you all along. It wasn't closed eyes, gritted teeth, used hands and hit and hit and hit, very courageous. No, Arashakan only had courage after getting it from Nara friend. You're wrong, but I don't know how to make you see you're wrong. In fact, I don't think I care enough to make you see that you're wrong, but you're wrong. But your act to save your friend was already brave. No, no, no. Arashaku was so scared when saving Nara friend. <laughs> being brave and courageous are not mutually exclusive from being scared. In fact, I would wager that a lot of people who are brave or courageous feel scared in those moments too. Um, arms and legs all shaky, but after getting courage, Arashakan's arms and legs were not weak anymore. Nah, that's just because the deed was done, dude. Adrenaline had worn off by then. Uh, talisman was just a symbol. The courage was in you all along. I already said it. Now only Nara is making this too complicated. Arashakan just know that there is courage in me when I have the talisman of courage. Ah, you simple-minded creature. After courage was stolen, Arashakan- Was it stolen? Did you drop it back? Yeah, there are two different possibilities here. Arashakan came into the cave of the furry mask demon king to search, hoping to find clues for Arashakan to find courage again. But Arashakan ended up getting surrounded by slimes in the cave. Fortunately, the furry mask demon king didn't notice. Speaking of which, remember that thing we picked up from the healer Charles Lunara? Do you think that's a talisman? Arashakan, we might have found your courage you lost. Really? Have you really found Arashakan's courage, Nara Lunara and Paimon? Would Nara Lunara mind giving my courage back to me? Here, yeah, buddy. Don't drop it again, you dimwit. Oh, why did you put me out of conversation? Yes, this is it. This is it. Oh, look at it. He's wearing it on his chest. How did you lose it, buddy? How is it adhered to you, actually? It's probably the bigger question. This is the talisman of courage. The flower has faded a bit after being apart from Arashakan for a few days. Oh, that's so sad. But it's okay. Arashaka will got it. Well, we're all right. <sighs> I don't know what it is about talking and Genshin that makes me yawn so much. And breathing, I swear. Arashakan is a good Aranara with courage and not a timid Aranara. Thank you so much, Naranara, Lenara, and Paimon. Arashaka now has courage back. Nothing can stop me. I beat Fairy Mask Demon King once before and I shall do it again. Whoa, Arashakan's attitude and tone are completely different now. 
The fairy mouse demon king has done a lot of evil things. Please come with me now, Eleanor and Paimon. With your help, we'll defeat it for sure. How is it still alive after all this time? Actually, the better question should be, how long has it been since the Nara helped you? Arashakan can feel it today. Oh, sorry, today will be the day it meets its end. Okay, then, Lenara, let's go and see what the sort of that fairy mask demon king is supposed to be. Go to his camp. Oh, right, he said it was in the cave, of course. Ah, uh, there is a... I'm not getting it. Cause it's going to be up high, right? It's going to be all the way up there somewhere. I don't care enough to go find the, uh, where are we? Dendroculus. <laughs> there is a ceiling in here. The night is cold. Yoo-hoo! Time for a light show. I don't have any dendro in my party. Can you guys stop attacking the bloody dendro thingies? Um, it has to be dendro, right? These things have to be activated by dendro? Yeah. Oopsies, wrong button. Hmm. I've been waiting for you for... No, I can't change my uh, abilities. Oh, my characters. Not now. Stars shine from fire hazard. This must be the furry mask demon king. The dude I hit in two shots. <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of the bigger hill shots. <laughs> uh, sorry, silly. I'll be there. Pumma had her guesses, but as it turns out, the furry mask demon king really was a hill all along. A hill -chel? Yes, the Fairy Mouse Demon King is actually a healer shell. Uh, all hilly choo choo Fairy Mouse Demon Kings. Uh, they're Fairy Mouse Demons, but I wouldn't say they're kings. Are they really furry though? I never thought about them having fur. The big ones are though. Uh, no. But that's all you need to know, Roshakan. <clears throat> okay, Roshakan understands. Yes, with help from Nara, Lunar, and Paimon, Roshakan will lead to the charge and be invincible. Even the devious Fairy Mouse Demon King will be no match. Roshakan shall mark the day with the big entry. In his journal. A big entry? Yeah, a big entry and big writing. I think yeah is a little too colloquial for a uh, Aranara to use, I'm going to be honest. He should be saying yes. Arshakan with courage and without sure feel... I see what she's trying to say. Arshakan with courage and without sure feel like two completely different Aranara. Arshakan with no courage has weak arms and legs, but Arshakan with courage can do all sorts of amazing feats. Courage is not just the best gift from Nara friend, but also the most important thing to Arashakan. Well, make sure you keep it safe and don't let the Hitchell steal it again. I don't know how they stole it from his chest. Arashakan understands. Arashakan will never let courage go missing again. As the lion searched for courage. Oh, we didn't heat it before we forget. Jean. Let the wind. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah! The field is lit! You wanna <laughs> shoot at me with fat arrows? I'll do the same thing. Wrong button. This is the button I will sort. Can you not fall off the back? He went down, I think. Kind of, maybe. Excuse me. Where did you go, Mr. Seely? I thought you went down. Yeah, there you go. Are you guys playing with things? Oh, it looks really pretty with the flowers. What do we have here? Uh, I don't know, Yumiya. I mean, I do, but. Have I ever been in this cave before? I have it marked, but why do I have it marked? Oh, these are the dudes you killed. Thanks. 
was unnecessary, but thanks. Ooh, a purple scroll. I need one of those. Why have I marked this? Is this why? No, surely not. That would just be weird. Mind, shower me with praise. Time to shine. Wind, hear me. I didn't even get to use you, Amy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, maybe I just had to come back here. I think that's what this may have been. Unless it was for up top. I don't know. I'm just going to get rid of it. What did we get? What are you guys playing with over there in the corner? Oh, that. And that. That's right, I have to leave the recipes inside of the... Yeah. What, yeah. Leave the starshroom alone, damn it! What did that starshroom ever do to you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, in that case, let us go to Samaria City and collect the commission primer gems. Now, be good or disappear. Even better. Stop attacking little things. Add Astra. Thank you for comp- Thanks, Catherine. Unfortunately, this is not enough to tip me over to another wish, but I'll take it. Now, on to the next quest. Leroy, Dying Flash. This is at the Court of Fontaine. Okay, you've got a new job. I don't know who Leroy is, but I've got a job with Leroy. Wait, isn't this Farina's house? I could have sworn that was Farina's building because it was by the... It was by the workshop. <laughs> oh, it's the next one down. Yeah. Oh, actually, hold up, Leroy. Before I forget... Was it this part of Fontaine? I don't remember where it is. There's the bookshop. I've got to get the three musketeers... Two musketeers books. Where was I? Is it up here? No. Um, is it down here? One of these buildings will sell it to me. I think it's this guy here. Kubo. Hi. Yes. Found it. Winning. Okay, now we can go back to Leroy. So what is this job you apparently have for me? Benoit Leroy. Athos's shirt. 1,000 more. Morticia's, Morticia's necklace. Youngsters these days sure know how to spend. Isn't Athos the three musketeer? And isn't Morticia the Adams family? Hello there, Mr. Leroy. Hello, Euphrasy sent us. Did she? That seems to me. You explain to Mr. Leroy why you're here. Oh, I have a vague recollection. I went to get my reputation of rewards from Euphrasia and she gave me a quest. So rude of her. Haha, that was half a year ago, wasn't it? I didn't think Euphrasia would hold on to that commission for so long. It's true, I did think of hiring hourly workers. After all, even the most capable of us get old and need others to take care of them. I spent so much of my life working to have this home, but in my old age, I found that I had no one to share it with. That did make me quite sad for a time. So it's a good thing, all in all, that my daughter and son-in-law have come to take care of me. They're good children, they love each other very much, and they keep me company. There's nothing more I could want. That's just a youngster, that I'm not hiring anyone. Really, that you frizzy. Well, now, don't be too down. That's not how young ones should be. You lot should be enjoying your best life, armed with a smile. Also, since you made the trip here, and since you frizzy recommended you, I do in fact have some work for you. Oh, really? It just so happens that the kids are out, and I can't quite handle everything here. Of course, you will be paid. Oh, nice. You're a great guy, Mr. Leroy. Ha ha ha, and you're qu you've got quite the silver tongue. All right, then go help me clean the stains by the door and behind the house, and feed Nana some fish while you're at it. Right, I forgot to mention, but Nana's my cat. You know, the one by the door. I guess you mean inside. Oh, you mean that cat over there? That is not near the door. Uh, thanks in advance on Nana's behalf. Well, that sounds simple enough. No problem. Leave it to us. I'm just gonna go get this. Thank you. 
Hi, Nana. It speaks cat. Ack, down. Hmm, that didn't work. That usually works. Can you be a peach and get that for me? I'll go feed Nana. Oh, with my 91 fish. There you go, Nana. You're welcome. Okay, what else are we getting rid of? Something around here? Uh, ish. Strange boxes. Old to cover up heavy boxes covered in layers of dust. Their presence here is in the usually bright and clear quarter fontaine is quite jarring. The bases of these boxes have collected a lot of clear water stains over the years. They must have once been piled in an exceedingly damp location. Never mind the stains on the door. These boxes look to be in far more urgent need of a cleanup. I was trying to attack them actually. Yeah. Stop getting on top of the boxes, love. Yeah. Go around. Mr. Leroy, you're done? That's right, Mr. Leroy. Also, hmm, what is it? You want some candy? Or would you like your pocket money now? Both? He, he, he. Hi, Mon. Ah, oh, what a greedy little child. Still, that's fine. It's exactly what children should be like. Hmm, don't know about that. Especially little ladies as cute as you, Paimon. Macarons, pretty dresses, and lovely homes. That's what you deserve to have. He, he, Paimon reckons so too. Hey, Leonora, could we? No. Boo boo, you're so stingy. We're adventurous, Paimon. Don't lose sight of why we're traveling, Paimon. Paimon doesn't see how any of that stuff conflicts with having macarons, skirts, or big, beautiful houses, though. Well, a house is redundant when you don't stay in it. Huh, what's with a sudden argument? Tch, kids. But a little banter now and then is good. That just shows you're still children. Um, actually, about that, I'm like super old. Treasure your childhood. It won't last. Anyway, here. Candies and coins both. Now then, do behave all right. Yay, snacks. Thank you, Mr. Leroy. Just call me Benoit, child. Leroy is my surname. Yeah, we know. That's why you were Mr. Leroy. I'm the last Leroy in the entire Court of Fontaine. Mentions of my family make this poor old soul quite lonely indeed. So please, just use my name. Mr. Le... Uh, Benoit, you... So, your daughter doesn't share your surname? She got married. Oh, or not. Morticia isn't my daughter by blood. I took her in half a year ago. That said, she may as well be my own true-born daughter. If you don't mind, you can come back again tomorrow. She and Athos should be back by then. I'm sure she won't mind having two lovely children like you over for snacks, especially since you're helping us with some of the chores. Some other children come by occasionally, so feel free to play with them, too. I love children. The more of them around, the merrier the house is. If you don't see me when you come over again, just knock and ask for me. Athos will open the door for you. Alrighty, we'll be back tomorrow, then. Good, good. I should be going back inside at any rate. See you tomorrow. See you then, children. I feel like this old man has been taken advantage of. I genuinely feel like, because he was talking about how much Morticia and Athos spend, and he only brought her into his home half a year ago. <sighs> Boring. I really feel like they're using this poor old man for his money. Oh, uh, I don't know if this is actually a quest chain. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to move until tomorrow because he did say tomorrow. So let's just put time. Ugh. Let's do that. Oh, at the end would have been a more respectable time. You know, go knocking on doors at 6 a.m. God, the audacity. For now. Here he is. Friends are forever. Hi, Molly. 